2020 has been quite a year for all of us and um, our programs at the Stable Cafe and at the Garden dramatically changed. As everybody knows, shelter in place just took away our ability to um, have people come together in person, but we knew that we really wanted to fill the need immediately of having um, a schedule that our program participants could rely upon. So I think it was about a week and a half after the shelter in place orders were put in place that we launched our first online activity. And the support that we received from um, the program participants who were involved and the community response was really tremendous. So our programs have evolved from in-person programs three times a week to online activities um, that are uh, pre-recorded three times a week. And then we are in October launching our hands-on learning experience in the garden with small court cohort groups of people um, per CDC and Alameda County Public Health Department orders. Um, we'll have virtual Zoom classes so our Stable Cafe program went from a once a month program to a weekly hour long session with teacher Becca. Well, we've received really great feedback. I know that our popcorn chat program participants look forward to their Friday get together with teacher Becca and Becca encourages them all to participate and um, share with her what they would like to do each week. It's been really fun to get to know our program participants in a more holistic way. Um, we've also heard from day programs and adult in transition programs that they've been utilizing our online activities for um, continued learning and education as they're meeting with our program participants virtually. We're also thrilled that our collaboration with Robert Half joined the team wear the face mask has been utilized by our colleagues in the industry um, and is being used for exactly what we hoped it would be to begin the discussion about when we come back together, it might feel funny that we're wearing a face mask, all still the same people, and how do we um, interact with each other in this new time. So we're donating more produce than ever to our local nonprofit partners. And what's wonderful is that our garden team, uh, Gardener, Caitlin and teacher Abby have really focused on increasing our nonprofit partnerships. So we're donating to Culinary Angels, Tri-Valley Haven, Shepherd's Gate, and we're also donating to the Sutton Girls Farm.